What marketing uh, philosophers would tell uh, an artist to do first is to identify uh, their fan base, their target market first. Uh, because if you have a handle on that, uh, then the promotion aspects of it, the dis distribution aspects of it become uh, much more, uh, much, much easier, much targeted, more targeted. So for example, if you, um, uh, if you uh, have an audience that you think is uh, 18 to, to 24 year old disgruntled uh, males, uh, you know, who live in suburbia America, uh, and they're very internet tech savvy, uh, then you go about uh, marketing to those people much differently than you would a 45 year old, uh, you know, uh, empty nester, uh, who uh, is uh, uh, fairly wealthy, has a lot of discretionary income, and is not very tech savvy. So if you, if you start off and the first thing you deal with is who is your fan? Who is the audience? Who is it that you're trying to attract that should like your music and want to listen to your music and appreciate your music? If you start from that position, the rest of the decisions become much, much easier. And especially today, if you have a, if you're a, have a very tech savvy uh, a fan base, uh, you, can, you can use uh, the internet uh, to get your music into the hands of a lot of people. And you can, uh, you can participate, have your fans participating in, in blogs and various websites, you know, to promote your, uh, your, uh, your music, uh, you know, through sort of uh, what they call under the, ra under the radar marketing these days. You know, where it's like you're marketing it, but nobody really knows you're marketing it. They don't know that those are your fans that are uh, that are pushing you uh, uh, on the on a blog or whatever, so th so there, those things have become uh, more available to you. Uh, simultaneously. If I'm trying to reach a 45 year old person who's not tech savvy, uh, you know, then I have a I have a different challenge on my hands. I've got to be able to reach those people through something else. So uh, in the in the in the marketing scheme of things, you start with the target market first, and that and to a certain extent dictates how you're going to get to those people, how you're going to distribute it, how you're going to go about uh, making those other important decisions.